Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of The Last of Us Part 2. In the last part, we make it to the island. That was an insane episode. Just so much happened. It started out with a sniper scene who I immediately assumed it was probably Tommy. But yes, it was Tommy. Tommy ends up killing Manny. And then him and Abby are kind of fighting back and forth on the pier. I guess it was kind of like a pier. And... Tommy ends up falling in the water, but Tom Abby gets a good look at his face, and I think she probably has the oh shit moment, these people are coming for me because of what I did in Jackson. Abby and Yara are following Lev to the island, we get to the island, and all chaos breaks loose. Um, the WLF are attacking at the same time that we show up, we find Lev, but Lev, in self-defense, I guess, had to fight his mom. His mom is dead. Isaac and the WLF run into Abby, Lev, and Yara. Yara gets shot instantly, but still alive on the ground. Isaac is going to kill Lev if Abby doesn't step out of the way. Abby doesn't step out of the way. Yara shoots Isaac, so I'm assuming Isaac is dead. If he is dead, that kind of sucks because I wish there could have been a little more played out with that character, but I'm assuming Isaac's dead. And then Abby and Lev, you know, through the chaos of the burning village, get to the boats and we end at the aquarium. I think I'm at Endgame, so I am so freaking excited. I say that every time, but I am excited every time I can film one of these episodes for you guys. This is just, this has been a great experience, a great game. I don't know, you guys. I'm excited to get into this, but I am a little nervous how the Abby and Ellie stuff is going to play out. But I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. They will see. I don't, I have so many questions, but we'll freaking see. Alrighty, I guess let's, let's get started. Let's get out of the rain. Yeah. 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 Anywhere but the aquarium. I don't think that's the place. Man, oh man. That face? I'm scared. Oh god. This is not a smiling matter. Oh gosh, okay. Okay. The hell? <laughs> is that... Stay behind me. Oh, I'm worried. I'm very worried. I'm so worried. I don't know if there's any point in going in these rooms. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, I don't see anything to interact with. Oh no, there's blood everywhere. Be careful. No, I mean, I know what's happening, but God, I hate this. Oh, 
I didn't think I would feel emotional. Wow. Okay. That's a look of rage. Okay. I hate that Owen has gotten tangled up in all this. He seems like... He seems like a good person. What do we do when we find him? Just figure out how to get in first. Oh, they think it's Tommy. Okay. And Lev is here. Oh, shit. Man. She didn't even give Mel a second glance. Wow. I mean, I thought she would feel a little sadness. She didn't even look her way. I'm sure she did feel a little sad, but holy. Love, what are you doing? What are you Lights doing? Are Still with me, Love. I don't... Yes. I highly doubt we can just go in the front door, right? Keep okay. looking. trying to think what are the chances that Abby is satisfied with just killing Jesse because Jesse's dead I just I don't see it <laughs> unless she has had some serious like character awakening because of Lev and Yara I feel like she is going to kill someone else in the group and I don't know who it's gonna be Oh, gosh. Okay. Grab that ladder. Ready? I want to say that she w wouldn't kill Dina because Dina's pregnant, but I... I don't know that she wouldn't. I want to say that she wouldn't, but... I don't know. And also, Dina's not even showing, so... Oh man, oh man. I can't, I don't know. I feel so nervous. This feels wrong. These are Leah's. Okay. We're, I can't believe we're here. This Abby part has felt so long. I don't know if it's just because of the content that you're playing, but it felt longer than the the Abby section or pff, Abby section, the Ellie section. Careful, stay close. 
Is this the end? Oh my gosh, if this is the last episode, I'm gonna be so sad. Can't turn the flashlight on. Oh, I don't have the backpack. That's why I forgot we lost the backpack. So all she has is a pistol? Okay. I'm procrastinating. I mean, okay, we came out of there. I'm pretty confident I know where I need to go, just in the lobby, right? I don't want to. No, it's going. Will he see this, you son of a bitch? She's gonna love it. Hands up. Back away from your shit. I said back up! You're making a big mistake. Don't fucking turn around. Love, keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. You gonna kill me like a coward? You fucking people. Jesse, stand up! Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up! Now! Don't you fucking dare! Shut the fuck up! Oh. Alright, stop! Stop! Toss your weapon. I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. What? <laughs> Watch the exit, don't let her leave. No! No! <laughs> Abby, you stupid bleep. No. She killed Tommy. She killed. I'm not, I'm gonna let Ellie kill her. <laughs> Fuck! I just crossed the line. Don't you fucking run! No. Dude. I don't want to fight. I'm supposed to chase Ellie. I don't want to do this. Oh, man. This is nonsense. This is... I'm chasing Ellie. <laughs> Motherfucker! I need a second. I need a freaking second. What? Why can't I have switched back to Ellie? No offense, Abby. <laughs> no offense. I don't know. Like, maybe I can switch midway or something? Like, what is happening? Am I just gonna do this whole fight as Abby? That feels wrong. Sprinting is loud, okay.
What are the odds that Tommy's not dead? Found you. Well, oops. <laughs> Don't attack Ellie head on, okay. This is weird. This is weird. I swear, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. Oh, one. Motherfucker! I'm not doing this intentionally. I swear. Okay, I'm, I'm in, I gotta move. Fucking get back here. Ellie is not playing around. Holy. They're literally showing her in her backpack. That's cool. Where's the balance? <laughs> this is... This feels weird. Okay. I guess I could use listen mode. I don't like listen mode. It just seems weird. God, that scared the shit out of me. Ah! 
Oh, thank God. No. 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 Stop. No. Stop. She had nothing to do with this. She's pregnant. Good. Abby. Good. <laughs> Don't ever let me see you again. Come on. What? I'm at a loss for words. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's okay. We're good. <sighs> what? I mean... What? So, Tommy's dead, Jesse's dead, Joel's dead, Dina and Ellie survive, Abby basically wins the entire fight, which was kind of, okay, alright, um, I'm grateful for Lev to be there. To kind of ground Abby. Make her rethink about killing Dina. But. Yeah. I. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me just keep playing. I don't. I'm going to have to process that. A little further. Um. I guess this is. Dina and Jesse's baby. How cute. Who's that handsome fella, huh? Oh, wow. Hey, you like these guys, huh? <laughs> they got some crazy hair. I keep hoping that we're gonna go downstairs and Tommy's- wait. Did I look around here all the way? Tommy's gonna be like sitting at a table or something? I just- I don't want to believe that he's dead, but I feel like if he wasn't dead, he would have come and helped. Man. Dina! I'm in the kitchen! Oh, 
I mean, this has got to be months later considering the size of the child. Say hi to your Auntie Talia. Hi, Auntie Talia. That looks like the kitchen. Hold on. I don't want to go there yet. You want some fresh air? <sighs> wow, that's beautiful. Wonder if this is close to Jackson? Oh. Me? Oh my. I just... I don't know what to think. I don't know if I just need to sit with it for a minute. Like, initially, I... I don't know how much I enjoyed that one part, but like, are you even supposed to enjoy it? I mean, it'd be hard to enjoy... From either side, I think, but I think it would have been a little easier to fight as Ellie. It was really weird fighting as Abby. Especially after she literally had just killed Tommy. Hey, Ollie. What are you doing out here? <laughs> How cute. Hang on, buddy. Yeah. There we go. It's pretty right. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. When your hands are bigger. And you're not pooping your pants all the time. It's alright. Everybody does it. How beautiful. Wow. Got a lot of stories to tell you. When you're older. Much older. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Look at this place. I mean, this is incredible. What a view. Potato, potato, my little big potato. <laughs> My potato, my potato, my little buddy potato. What a big boy. Yeah, that's my buddy. All right, little spud. We should go check out mama. Oh, look at him. Hey, let's get you on here. Oh, there. Now it's official. His name's JJ. I wonder if that stands for Jesse Joel or Joel Jesse. Oh, I mean, maybe not, but if it is, that's so sweet. Can I go over here? No. Wait, let me just make sure, because if I miss anything, I will be so upset. Okay, nothing. Oh, you can run with him. Oh, what's up, you little goobers? Hey. Thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. 
My dear Dina, thank you for your letter and the photograph. JJ's gotten so big already. He's got Jesse's smile. If anything, if he's anything like his dad, well, good luck. I can't wait to visit you. My back has been acting up again, but I'm on the mend. The doctor still thinks I need a few more weeks of rest. As soon as I can, I will be there. I appreciate your tender words in your letter. I will say what I hope is obvious. Jesse wouldn't blame you for what happened and neither do any of us. We love you. You're a part of our family. Be well. There will always be a place for you. Oh my god, this is Ellie and JJ. Back in Jackson, should you ever change your mind? Love, Robin. I guess that's Jesse's mom. How about some tunes? Ah, oh, you want a boogie, huh? All right. Oh, fuck ya. Yeah. I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. <laughs> I'm with you. My bar is very low. <laughs> Hold on. I just want to make sure there's nothing in here to interact with. No? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, no. This is kind of working on me. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, you're distracting me. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going now? No? Okay. I'm gonna go do the laundry. Oh, oh, wait. Does he need his jacket? No, he's fine. Hold on, I don't want to interact. <gasps> oh, how cute! You want to pet him? I don't want to interact if it's gonna make me miss other right, stuff. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh! Gentle, gentle, gentle. Just like that. Here you go. Yeah. How sweet. Hey. Hey. I'll take him. Can you get the sheep into the barn? Oh, I got him. I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Won't you rest it up? Okay, here. Come on. Get you in there. Don't stay out too long. He still needs a bath. Shh. I'm like the, the herding master. Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn, so come on. All the sheep. <laughs> Look at the baby one. Snowy. Barn time. How do you Daisy. how do you do this? Head on in. Wow. That's a lot of sheep. There we go. How many do you think that is? Let's count. One, two. Better stop, because I'm getting sleepy. Eugene? Hey. hey, hey, inside, inside. Todd. Move it or lose it. <sighs> Wonder what we the baby's name have is. Way too many sheep. Hey, what do you say we eat some of them? <laughs> Tasty snack. I got one for you. 
Um, What's the quietest animal on a farm? A sheep. When you're older, you're gonna have a deep appreciation for these jokes. Okay, one more. What do you get when you cross an angry sheep and a mad cow? An animal that's in a bad mood. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Mama likes that one too. Uh, come on, guys! Come on. There we go. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, how'd you get out? Come on, little dude. Good. Haven't had a, any excitement in a while. Hmm? Poor Ellie. Wow. I guess she's probably dealing with symptoms of PTSD trauma, which is no joke. Man, I feel terrible. this ending huh. I'm so confused because I told you guys at the beginning the only thing I remembered was like being on a beach but I don't know if that was something I already did in the game. I didn't recognize any beach. Uh, 
We were on a beach with Joel in the last game with Sam and Henry. That obviously wasn't it. You're not really on the beach in the island. Okay. Well. Hey, you. Who are you here with? Hey. Where you been? Hunting. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. Ow. <gasps> Ow. Oh. That's quite a grip you got there. Hey, Tommy. There you are. Here, let me take it. Come here, bud. Oh, oh, yeah. go. Here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. He's getting heavy. No, <laughs> just a big ball of muscle. Hmm? So she Tom's missed? Good. Maria good? Oh, she's fine. We, uh... We're taking some time apart. Hmm. I'm sorry. Nah. We talked about it a lot, and, uh... Yeah, that's what we both want, so... <clears throat> okay. Come sit. I got something to show you. I'm so confused. I mean, his eye is messed so I've up. I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. That's got to be her. We're done with that, so. I'm sorry. Well, I can't go. I know. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Hey. What the fuck was that? God damn it, Tommy, you know what we've been through. I'll save it. She made me a promise. I don't fucking care. I know you don't, Dan. That's your goddamn problem. Listen to me. Oh, yeah, I'm all fucking ears. You don't come back here to make shit. In my house, ever again. You understand? Oh. Gonna go. She's gonna go, isn't she? I'm so confused how Tommy's alive. But he's missing an eye? Like, how would that work with a bullet? I'm so confused. Maybe someone can explain? Is it just the way that it hit or something?
Jesse's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They're good people. But then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. I couldn't handle it and left for the woods. I didn't come back until late at night. Dina stayed up for me. I could tell she was mad, but she grabbed my hand and led me to bed. I feel so guilty. It happened again. I was hunting a spore and I cornered it in the old gas station. It was bleeding out, screaming, sounded like him. Then I couldn't get the images out of my head. I left it there dying. My skin hurts. When does it get quiet? Time was supposed to suffocate the urge, suffocate the desire, extinguish, extinguish the desire. Haunted by your smiles, the mask keeps getting heavier. It's sliding off my face. One step forward, two steps back. There's a noose around my neck, and the further I get, it's harder and harder to breathe. Can I find a way to cut the cord? I've been waiting for dawn, but the light is all gone. Don't know if I'm already blind. Can I leave it all behind? Happened again. Got rid of the images pretty quickly, but my skin hurts. Hurt the rest of the morning. I gave up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with me. When will this stop? I don't know how Dina talks so easily about Jesse. She tells JJ all about him. She thinks it'd be good for me to talk about Joel to get it out. When she says that, it makes the memories sound like food poisoning. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to hurt. And I think once I'd start, I wouldn't be able to stop. Took JJ on a ride today. He laughed the whole time. I almost didn't think about Seattle all day. It was nice. Well, I thought the game was over, but I don't know. Now it feels like it's not. In the boat, he's standing on the right. Jets and gamblers are standing around. Taking little city to the very end. I began to think I'd do my time. I got the hang of it. Made up the wind, just a little too slow. They overtook me and Jerry. I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, she's putting on quite the show. Give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She uh say something to you? 
Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse. Come on. Hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. <laughs> don't you start with me. Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. Or not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. Family event. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Remember next time there's kids around. Yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just what this town needs. Another loudmouth dyke. The fuck did you just say? Hey, Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me. Hey! Enough. On you. Let's go for a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You all right, kiddo? What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Don't. Right. Wow. <laughs> so I guess that was the last conversation they had had. Hey. His jacket. Hey. Man, it's been a while since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm... I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long, just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. 
she doesn't get to be more important than that. No. I'm not gonna do this again. That's up to you. Now we just need... Oh, we checked this straight a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's elite. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Come on. <gasps> what?! 24, 10. It's not going to be on that side. It's all evens. 24, zero, 09. I hope you guys don't mind, but I think I'm going to stop here purely because I don't know how much longer is left of the game. But also, I just want time to process. I mean, I have so many thoughts running through my head. I. On one hand, I can understand Ellie's desire for revenge, but at the same time, you know, we've talked about Abby's desire for revenge and how that, that consumed her and, you know, her desire for revenge ended up killing Ellie's dad and if Ellie kills Abby, Abby is essentially the, well, not essentially, Abby is the only person that Lev has, so at this point, the story is just, it's, it's, it's circling and either someone breaks the cycle, which, you know, I gotta say, Abby tried to do, but I mean, it's still going and I, I'm just torn because you know, I hate to see Ellie struggle. I feel terrible for Dina. I mean, Dina in this situation. She dropped everything. She went to Seattle with Ellie, no questions asked. She lost Jesse during that. It was the, the father of her child. So she clearly cared about him, even if she didn't want to spend her life with him in that regard. It's still her child's father. He's dead. Um, you know. And her asking Ellie to stay to put them first, to set aside this revenge and prioritize the family. I mean, the way that Ellie just kind of walked away from that, that would be heartbreaking. And that makes me, that brings me back to Abby and Owen. I mean, it was such a similar thing. Abby was so consumed with revenge that that relationship fell apart as well. It's just... <laughs> man there's a lot of parallels in this story a lot um obviously there's some differences but their stories are so similar and I feel like Abby's similar to Ellie in a lot of ways but also I feel like Abby is similar to Joel in a lot of ways and so is Ellie they're both so similar to Joel it's interesting to see but That was, you know, that was a pretty intense part. I 
felt very uncomfortable fighting Ellie as Abby. And I think I'm just going to need time to process this part a little bit. Just think on the things that have happened and just let it sink in a little bit. I'm glad that Tommy's still alive, even though I am a little confused by, I, like, the way that the bullet whizzed. Um, I didn't get a chance to say it, but, like, they didn't show his head, like, explode or anything in the way that we've seen throughout the game when it happens to other people. So a part of me was like, oh, maybe that bullet hit his ear or, but if it, if it hit his ear, why is he not helping Ellie? But it, it took out his eye. I'm just confused how it didn't puncture his brain in a way that would limit his life a little bit. It just seemed like he's missing his eye, and then I think Lev shot an arrow into his knee so he can barely walk, but man, I just, I don't know how I want this to end, to be honest. I don't have a clue. I would love for Ellie to find peace, to be able to live a happy life. I don't know how, what that looks like for her. I don't know what would accomplish that. Um, It looks like Abby has, it looks like Abby has moved on. I mean, obviously, I guess we'll see as I play this next part, but it looks, when like just the few seconds, it looked like she was doing better and she seemed lighter and her and Lev probably, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say they're happy, but maybe, maybe they're happy. Um, yeah, this is... This is a lot to process. So I'm assuming we have to be close to the end. I know that I said at the beginning, I remembered like beach scenery and this looks like that. So yeah, I think that we have to be close to the end. I'm overall very eager to just see how this story wraps up, see how they conclude this, see if I like it, see how I feel. This has been quite the playthrough so far. I'll say that. This has been quite the playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening to me ramble, hanging out with me for an hour. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys for what I'm assuming will be the last part. I thought this would be the last part, but no, one more, I think, hopefully. No, not hopefully because I'll be sad, but <laughs> probably one more episode. All right. Bye, guys.